Hi everyone. In this lecture, the topic of discussion will be energy and power signal. Okay. So basically, the energy E of a discrete time signal x of n is defined as it is defined as E is equal to you know what summation of summation of absolute square of x of n okay over the limit n ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity okay so this is how you can define a energy e of a discrete time signal x of n okay so it is defined as what the summation of the absolute square of x of n over the limit n ranging from n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity fine so if the energy e of a discrete time signal is both finite and non zero then it is classified as a energy signal okay it is important to note that periodic signals cannot be categorized as energy signals however examples of energy signals include exponential signals okay now let's move further so the concept of average power in a discrete time signal denoted as p can be defined as how you can define so p is equal to what limit limit n tends to infinity okay 1 divided by 2n plus 1 okay into into what summation of summation of absolute square of x of n so absolute square of x of n okay where n ranges from minus n to plus n hope it is clear to you fine so this is what the average power of a discrete time signal x of n fine so when a discrete time signal has a finite and non zero power p then it is referred to as a power signal fine a great example of a power signal is periodic signal in fact any bounded and periodic signal can be classified as a power signal remember this points fine it's important to note that energy signals and power signals are mutually exclusive that means no signal can be both energy signal and power signal okay fine okay so go to the next so for energy signal the energy will be what finite it means e should be greater than 0 and smaller than infinity and average power will be zero so this is what the condition for energy signal energy energy signal clear now for power signal the average power the average power is what finite so p is greater than zero is smaller than infinity and energy will be infinite so this is what a power signal hope it is clear to you fine so this concludes the discussion on energy and power signals in the next lecture we will explore numerical examples related to energy and power signals if you have any doubts please feel free to ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching